Hi, I'm Jeff Broom from NT5 Advisors, and we're doing another interview today here. And uh, we're in Inglewood, or Hollywood, as the people would know it, or more not as local. Uh, and today, I have Justin Ackerman from Aruna Capital here to talk about where he sees uh, innovation investment with 5G. Good morning, so, Justin. Good morning to you. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's a that's a uh, really big question. I think there's a lot of misconception about 5G at the moment. Um, it is not a retail investment yet, meaning it's not really in the hedge funds. Um, it is a specialty investment. It is a large infrastructure investment. The big telecom are, you know, Ericsson, Verizon, AT&T, Xiaomi. They are all investing in 5G. Why? Um, really, because they see the long-term uh, infrastructure headed that way, and I think a lot of people think of 5G as only driven by smartphone and like we go from 4G to 5G when Apple tells us to with the next smartphone. I think that's really a mistake and um, any investors heading towards that would, would I would advise them to look elsewhere. So small companies that are creating technologies that are in infrastructure, um, which would have to do with processing speed, uh, high capacity storage, companies that would be bought or acquired by the big telecom in the 5G buildup. And then really 5G is about, as I see it, is about the interconnectedness of all things in real time. So investment, from my point of view, looks at, okay, where will we be in four or five years time as self-drive becomes a sine qua non of all traffic and, and transportation, as drones are, are delivering, as telemedicine is, is uh, you know, a, prevalent part of, of, of medical therapies and, and surgeries and emergencies. And that interconnectedness of all things makes us another component. Humans, we often think of ourselves as a part in using all this digital infrastructure, but we're also our own data trails. And therein lies the investment opportunities is how do you manage an individual's volumetric data, which companies are headed in that direction. Um, and from the entertainment and sports side, I think right now there's a lot of opportunity in showcasing 5G, um, but also in actually bringing real changes into how sports are viewed, experienced, and how the audience participates in those, uh, the, the, those entertainment uh, functions and, and, and you know, interests. Okay, good. And, um you said it was four to five years. Do you see anything near that will cause 5G to really take off, to move away from the big telecoms into the more consumer space? A very, yeah, a very, very possibly. I, th I think, you know, again, looking at the larger companies, what's going on with drone delivery, um, I think what's going on in the medical fields, I think it's all right now enterprise-driven. Right. Um, and there is, you know, direct consumer benefits to those enterprise drives, no question. Um, and I'm less excited about faster entertainment. I think entertainment actually is, is, is moving in, in, in a direction of shorter form. So, you know, downloading a movie in five seconds versus two minutes or, or something like that, to me, is not an investment opportunity um, because I think a lot of the entertainment going forward is going to be shorter and shorter form. Um, look at what Jeffrey Katzenberg and Meg Whitman are doing with Quibi. Um, that's all going to be 20-minute you know, uh, entertainment pieces. You can already see the fragmentation happening, you know, and you can look at AT&T buying into Warner Brothers. Um, you know, I had a very interesting conversation with Jeff Bezos at, uh, at the Academy Awards here in Hollywood, and it was pretty much him acknowledging as well the short form entertainment becomes more and more valuable because of the data trails. So looking again, going back to what you were asking originally at 5G as, as being a big investment opportunity for Hollywood because of faster download times, no. no I think the interests are elsewhere. Good. Well, thank you. And uh, we'll talk again, I'm sure. Good. All right.